word and the truth about despair, as will you. I will show you where I have made my home. Whilst preparing to bring justice, then I will break you. What did I do to deserve this fate? I cannot bear this terrible fate that has fallen upon me. What good is all my learning? What good were my, all my intentions? I have ended up a broken fate. Ah, yes. I was wondering what would break first, your spirit or your body. And in the midst of this despair, he describes a vision, a vision of a magnificent woman coming to Boethius. She has on a robe that is all tattered and patched, and only two letters, Phi and the Theta are there. And Boethius says, who are you? It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. I am philosophy, practical and theoretical. I am the philosophy that guides your life. So easy, so simple. But I have come to you in your misery and to ask, what is wrong with you? Why are you in such despair? Hope. And then here, there can be no true despair without hope. Why am I in despair? Look at what has happened to me. Yes, well, tell me what has happened to you. Well, I tried to do good things. I tried to protect the peasants. I tried to ensure justice. I intervened against outrageous officials, officials who were breaking their own legal codes. And I have been slandered. I have been thrown into prison. My wealth has been confiscated. I lost all the power I had. I lost all the wealth I had. And I've lost my reputation. I am now looked upon as a traitor and a blasphemer. Can you imagine how everybody is laughing about me? I can't bear the agony of being laughed at like this. Uh, I thought my jokes were bad. I see. So that's philosophy. Well, now let me ask you this question. Have you ever considered what blessings you still have? That's a practical part of philosophy. Oh, I know it sounds like the consolation of a loser, but stop right now and say what blessings do you have. And then secondly, tell me again what you have lost. I have lost my fame. I have lost my wealth. I have lost my power. This gives you power over me? You never possess those things. Those are gifts given out by fortune, by chance. They mean nothing. She can take them away anytime she wants. And if your happiness rests upon your possessions, say in today's terms, your car, if it rests upon your bank account, if it rests upon what the press says about you, the media, then that is a pathetic existence. It is all just the gift of fortune and means nothing. So you've lost nothing that you ever had. Tell me, what did you come into the world with? Nothing, exactly, and you should not expect to go out with anything more. So happiness cannot be based upon these random gifts of fortune. Happiness rests only in the understanding of the good. So if God is good, then he has created this for you, for bringing you to a true realization of what is permanent and enduring.